Hello there, Matthew here with you. And in this video, we're going to take a look at assigning an issue to multiple users or multiple teams. To begin this process, we need to start at the beginning. So let's jump into a project and head directly to the teams and users page. In this project, I've already gone ahead and set up all of the contributing subcontractors or trade partners, external stakeholders, whatever we would like to call them. So you'll notice I've got the architectural team here, the BIM track team, client, electrical, fire protection and plumbing, as well as the mechanical and structural team. And I have, of course, invited all of my external stakeholders into the project and I've placed them on the appropriate teams. So it's a very simple process. I'm sure we're all familiar with that. With this completed, we need to head to the project settings. In the attributes, you'll notice we have the notify option and the team involved. Now nomenclature here is up to you. So if we start with notify, we can rename this to follower or watcher. However, I like to leave this set to notify and on the team involved attribute, we could perhaps rename this to team responsible. There we go. So it tells us that the attribute renaming will be reflected everywhere except in the add in versions prior to version 1.58. So please add, update your add in if necessary, very important. And then we have to take a look at the mandatory attributes prior to having the ability to assign an issue to multiple individuals or multiple teams, we would assign it to an individual. And you're noticing I've made the assign to field mandatory. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this option. And if we scroll down, you'll notice we have team responsible. I'm going to make this mandatory. And I also highly recommend making the notify field mandatory as well. Perfect. So we're swapping out assigned to for notify and team responsible. Now that the project has been set up appropriately in the cloud, we can head into one of our add-ins. So let's go ahead and work with Navisworks here. We've already selected the hub. So we just select the corresponding project to see any existing issues. So let's go ahead and take a look at this issue right here. Perfect. We are going to request that the architect change this door family to a overhead style so that cars can exit the lift up here onto the roof for additional parking, which would then require the structural engineers to perhaps redesign the depth of these open web joists and of course update some leg gauge steel framing around the updated door. So let's simply use the create issue method. As per usual, we need to give this issue a title. So we'll simply call it structural slash architectural issue. We can add any additional information here into the description, and then we define our attributes. So now that we are not assigning this issue to an individual, and we said team responsible was going to be our mandatory field, I can simply say the architecture team and the structural team are the two teams responsible for this specific issue. I'm no longer assigning it to one individual. I'm assigning it to two teams. Now we can simply fill out the rest of these mandatory attributes really quick here. We'll fill out the necessary disciplines. And you'll remember we made notify mandatory as well. So if I expose the notify field, of course, I'm going to see the architects and the structural team right here. So again, we've assigned the issue to the architectural and structural teams. We've told them that they are responsible for the issues, but now I'm going to notify either the complete teams. So all members of both of those teams, or I can simply specify a single individual from both teams. Again, now it's up to you as to who you would like to notify, but we are pushing this issue into the responsible teams court 
and simply notifying these individuals, or again, as I said, the teams as a whole. We can take this one step further by restricting the visibility by enabling this checkbox right here. It says access restricted to author. So that would be us, the assignee. And then our case, that's no one team and notify. So only people who have been listed here in the team responsible or in the notify field will now be able to see this issue. So we're ready to publish this issue into BIMTrack. It will sync with the cloud. And of course, we noticed the little lock icon right here at the end of the issue title saying that the access is restricted. Now, when my users enter their authoring platform, so here we are in Revit, when applying filters, we'll no longer filter by assigned to, we will filter by team responsible. And if we're looking at the structural model, like we are in our case right here, and we apply that filter, we'll see all of the issues that the structural team has been added to in that team responsible field. So of course, here's the issue we just created. And now my structural engineer and my architect are able to communicate directly on the issue. So I hope you guys are seeing some value here in assigning an issue to multiple teams or multiple users rather than a single individual. Until next time, have a great day.